Gary, um, out of the Challenge Cup, but you must have been pleased with the attitude of the players, particularly after a, a poor match on Friday against Keith. Yeah, we were uh, we were much much better. We showed a lot of character and togetherness, which was sadly lacking on Friday uh, against against Keithley. You know, I was still very disappointed after that, and so were the players. So, you know, the good thing about sport is you get an opportunity to put it right. And um, I asked them to uh, show a reaction today and show some togetherness and some steel and, and some commitment to each other as a team, as a group. Um, and I thought we did in, in in dreadful conditions, really poor conditions. But you know, I thought we took a lot of positives out of today because uh, there was certainly a lot of steel about us which was as I said sadly missing on Friday and if we'd have had that steel on Friday it might have been a different result. On Friday you went 12-0 up early on, today you went down uh, by 12 uh, but you fought back and really got back within 14 yeah. points of Bradford uh, just early on in the second half and unfortunately then things just went backwards a little bit from there but you must have been pleased with the, uh, the, the, the players being able to uh, stay with Bradford for so long. Absolutely, you know, and, and I have to congratulate both sets of players because I thought they adapted to, to the conditions really well considering there weren't that many errors when you looked at it really, you know, I think, uh, <coughs> I think I've got to give credit to both sets of players, but yeah, we, you know, at 14-10, you know, our tails were up and, and, and we still only had 12 men on the field, which was fair credit to the boys really, you know, because I thought the symphony was really harsh and I, I, I still, you know, I'm, I'm fuming about that, but, but it is what it is, but um, yeah, I thought, uh, I, I thought they showed a lot of resilience and, and like I say, Bradford ran away from it in the end, but they've got that bit of class, Dane Chisholm and John made a tactical change as soon as we got within four points and brought Ross Peltier back on and uh, we struggled to hold Peltier all game, he's a, he's a big human being and he took some holding and um, I think that, that was the difference really, he got them going forward and, and played the ball quickly and then the halves played on the back of him so you know it was a smart bit of coaching from John, he recognised that we were putting him under pressure, made that change and, uh, and then the game went away from us but you know we've got a lot of positives to come out of today. Uh, compared to to our poor showing on Friday, and, and, and I'm pleased with that, that because that's what we asked. I said, if nothing else, just show some commitment, show some togetherness, and work really hard for each other. And we definitely did that today. And, and seeing that you're saying about Ross, that they've got two or three really big forwards yeah. that can do a lot of damage uh, against you know r really good sides. Um, is, is that the difference that they've managed to be able to get some sort of super league t style players in, yeah. and some of them are on uh, probably full time as well? Uh, so the full time absolutely, training. yeah, without a doubt, you know that is the difference. And, and then, you know, your halves of them playing off off quick play the balls rather than and, and against num shorter numbers because it, you know there's so many people in the tackle. But yeah, without a doubt, you know that is a huge difference. And, uh, and I'm not knocking any of my middle unit players today because I thought Young Kov came in, Jock Kov came in, and, and had a right dig, you know. And he, uh, Nick always has a go and Jack Blabra played real well and, and Reedy I thought was, was terrific again. I'm not knocking any of my middle unit players but you're right there, you know, you know, Crosley, Peltier, uh, Mikey Wood, they're still fully full time players and, and, and it showed. And then on the back of that you've got then fast play the balls and pivots that could play against against struggling defences and there's are the differences and you know, Kane Sutherland and, and, and Joe Sanderson would love to play off those quick rooks, I'm sure, but uh, at, the, at the moment we're just not getting them uh, and we've got to try and find a way to get them and it's difficult to get quick rooks against a team like Bradford, but um, we keep working on it and that's all I can do and keep asking the players to keep working on it and give it the best every time we play. You had some new guys in or, or some guys making the debuts, how, how do you think um, people went and also you've got a couple of uh, loan people in, uh, how have they been going and how have they fitted into the team? They've been really good, young, young, young Jordan Roberts, you know, he's a, he's a smashing kid, he's, he plays at Ryan, but he's come here and give it, he's 100% behind Huntsley, you know, he's, he's given his heart and soul, he, he's, he's, he never misses training sessions and, and he's here every time and he's just a good kid to have around, he's very, very positive in everything he does, so there's no question that they're here for the right reason. Reasons, absolutely not. Uh, the same with Blackburn, travelled over from Manchester three times a week. Again, he's. I know they've probably got a different agenda because they're just looking to get in their own club's first team. But if that means by doing that they have to come here and play really, really well, then so be it because we get the benefit of that. Uh, and, and you know, there's no negativity against either of those guys. They just come here. They're, they're fully behind what we're trying to achieve and what we're trying to um, trying to do at the club, and they're trying to do their bit to help us along the way. Uh, in terms of the new guys, Danny Armshaw looks like he's uh, going to be a nice little bonus that we've picked up. I thought he was outstanding today. He's not played for a while. Uh, he's been going through a, a, a five-match ban that he picked up playing for West Ball and that's completed now. So that's his first hit out all season. So again, you know, he's not played for, for a number of months and to come in and play like that in those conditions 
and do a good what 40 minute spell. I thought it was excellent. Um, Niall Walker, yeah, it's a long awaited debut for Niall this season. Uh, such feel so sorry for that lad. He's, he's worked his, his nuts off in training pre season and then picked up an injury which has kept him out. But I think today, even in those conditions, it showed glimpses of how good he's going to be for us because he's strong, he's quick. Um, I just hope he, he recovers fully from, from that appendix operation and he can now kick on and, and he's started his season now. So hopefully we'll see more from him. Uh, and young Jordan Gill, of course, who's been out with tendonitis and uh, we're hopefully. Hopefully he'll get better and better as the season goes on, but not a great day to make your debut in conditions like this, especially when you stuck out on the wing, so fair, fair credit to those two. They've come in and done a job for us, and Niall was a late change because we lost Tommy Ashton uh, with an injury this morning. He, uh, he twisted his knee this morning, so pulled out late, so Niall wasn't even supposed to play, so I think that just adds to the character of the lad, and I'm pleased for him, and hopefully, as I said, he recovers well from the game and is available for next week. What a lot of people didn't see before, Andrew, was when uh, we got down to the pitch this morning at about 10 o'clock, it was like a lake. Yep. Um, and you, and Trevor, and Scott, and, and some others um, have been out there forking the pitch for a couple of hours before to try and get that game on. So, uh, uh, again, I think the club has sort of tried to to move heaven and earth to yeah. be able to stop that fixture list. Absolutely, yeah. And, and your guys put on a, a, a good performance today, so thank you very much for that. Are you well, you can't beat a spot of uh, gardening in, no. uh, in, <laughs> in rain and snow, can you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, thanks very much and, and thanks for, Cheers, for uh, helping out to get no that problem. because the game wouldn't have gone on without people doing that sort of stuff, so thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers.